Hey, hey everybody, this is Marcel Ernie Racing News reporting from the boardwalk. And of course, it is my birthday today, working on my birthday, July 31st. <laughs> um, I was born 39 years ago, and on my birthday, I'm doing my CRCC um, request for review form. So let's take a look, guys. Here you have it. Civilian Review and Complaint Commission for the RCMP Request for Review Form. Essentially, if you have made a complaint concerning the conduct of an RCMP member and are not satisfied with the way the RCMP handled your complaint, you can request a review. And Because I got a notice of direction and that is the specifics of this one. So I filled in my RCMP file number, my commissioner file number and 7,000 characters um, that you get to explain why you want review. So, don't fall. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna read it to you and I'm gonna submit it. So let's get through it. Starting at the top, I am requesting CRCC review of notice of direction dated June 2nd, 2023, which states some of the allegations listed are serious in nature and as a result of code of conduct investigation has been initiated against Constable Herbs. It further states the above listed allegations not continue under the public complaint process. And so that's the issue is three of my allegations are considered serious and they want to make it an internal code of conduct RCMP investigation and take it out of the public one. And these three allegations I should find and list to you guys as well, they have to do with herbs serving me a cease and desist in the courtroom on December 14th and then holding up the court on March 29th for 30 minutes while he was down at the registry filing a claim against me, a civil claim, uh, a small claims court lawsuit against me and then served, so he held up the court for 30 minutes and that's the other one, and then served me in the courtroom as an act of intimidation against me, which is the witness and defendant. And so those are the three allegations that they're taking serious and they want to put into their code of conduct internal allegation, internal investigation. Yeah. But I want to keep this in the public complaints process. So let me continue on, guys. A, the fact is, is that the investigation is in process and there is much investigation still required and there are other allegations of serious nature. B, Sergeant Failure stated July 5th, 2023 that he did not know the nuances of the code of conduct investigation in relation to the directive to not pursue the listed allegations under the public complaints process and that I should ask CRCC. C, thus far I have been provided about zero documents or specific information about the investigation to date other than the notice of direction. I am starting to lose confidence that the listed allegations to be investigated under the code of conduct will be completed. I am not sure that the other allegations of a serious nature will be investigated properly. There is much work to be done by the RCMP Professional Conduct Unit, including obtaining the March 29, 2023 court transcripts, where Herbs misled or intended to, dis intended to mislead the court about his self-identification. Most, if not all, relevant witnesses have not been interviewed as far as I know. Court register documents have not been obtained yet, I believe. Video evidence from January 29th, 2022 directly contradicts Herb's testimony about self-identifying his name and jurisdiction on January 29th, 2022. Herb's March 29th, 2023 court testimony, and I'm going to quote, Mr. Ernie held a cell phone in my face and demanded to know my name and badge, which had already been provided. I didn't provide my badge, but I did provide my name as well as my jurisdiction, which by lawful obligation, end quote, of Herbs. The January 29, 2022 video evidence demonstrates that Herbs refused to identify himself under the RCMP police standards. Sergeant Failure is not aware that there is any RCMP standard that requires RCMP officers to self-identify or identify upon request and provide an RCMP ID card. That's a big problem right there, guys, if you listen to it. He just said under the RCMP Act that there is no requirement 
he's telling me there's no requirement under the RCMP Act for them to identify upon request or self-identification. It's just under the RCMP police standards. So what is the police standards and how does this relate to my CRCC complaint? And I linked up the officer identification on the RCMP GRC GC website officer identification. You can all look it up, which says upon request, you know, they must do this or should do this. Now, Herb stated several times in video January 29th, 2022, that he will not identify until I step out of the camper and meet him on the sidewalk. So I have the video transcripts here. Ernie, what's your name? Herbs, my name will be available to you when you provide me with your ID on the sidewalk. Now, Herbs, again, my name's available to you out here, end quote. Herbs, again, Okay, you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out here, end quote. And I have all the links with the, all this as well for the videos. Herbs, so you can have my name when you get out of the vehicle and we can look at your plate and deal with this like adults, end quote. Ernie, what is your name? You have to provide me your name. Herbs, I'll provide it to you in writing on paper, end quote. Ernie, no, I need to see your badge number. Show me your badge number, end quote. Herbs, I don't have a badge to show you, end quote. I'm just gonna make sure we're still recording, guys. Okay, we're still going. Sergeant Fellier has not obtained the transcript from the phone calls I placed to the RCMP on January 29th, 2022 where I relayed the RCMP vehicle number to find out the officer's name. So here's call to RCMP officer, Ernie. And do you have his name, KL3228 vehicle being held right now? End quote, RCMP operator. Yeah, that's a Constable Herbs, E-R-B-E-S, Herbs, end quote. Sergeant Failure has not talked to any witnesses in regards to the three allegations that he is moving out of the public complaint process and into internal RCMP code of conduct. The court witnesses and courtroom transcripts are important to proving these three allegations as fact. D. The investigation is in process and I am and advise that will not be completed until the fall I am concerned that there is still considerable investigation, investigative work to be done. Important issues include, number one, RCMP self-identification policy. Is there a clear, coherent policy that is regularly reinforced with officers? Two, Constable Herbs lied under oath to mislead the court about his self-identification. Three, Constable Herbs purposely violation of my Charter of Rights Section 2B, 2C, 2D, and Section 7 interfering with my process to appeal and defend myself without threat of intimidation. Oh, I have three written twice. Four, <laughs> it has been established that I was allowed to be parked on Water Street on January 29, 2022 during and after Herbs' three-hour escalation of a parking warning. Five, it is also important to note that the Commissioner of Security do not report on or deal with vehicles parking on city streets. Six, Herbs never had any reasonable probable grounds or reasonable suspicion an offense was committed as is required to get my ID on January 29, 2022. It has been established that I was in the camper, a structure mounted upon a motor vehicle as per MVAR. Herb stated in his synopsis A, the male was not arrested as was inside the motorhome, end quote of his synopsis. Seven, despite issuing two different tickets alleging non-criminal allegations and filing a civil claim in court without jurisdiction to hear the allegations and alleging in evidence that the accused had caused a disturbance, no charge of criminal conduct has been formally alleged by Constable Herbs through the filing of a criminal or other information. Eight, Herbs violated my Charter of Rights on January 29, 2022 and confirmed my charter violation by saying on video that I was unwelcome here. Herbs, quote, we've already explained this. You're parked here, you're unwelcome here, end quote. Ernie, unwelcome? What are you discriminated against me? End quote. E. Thus far, I have been provided no documents or results of the investigation to date other than the notice of direction. F. 
My desired outcome is I would like to ensure that my request to review continues under the investigation until the investigation is completed, hopefully in a responsible manner. G, I previously requested that Sergeant Failure obtain the Kelowna Commissioner's detailed security report from January 29, 2022, to which Herbs referred to in his synopsis A. In synopsis A, Herbs referred to a witness statement and redacted the witness name. Herbs did not disclose the detailed security report or redacted witness name as per my particulars request. Herbs synopsis A, quote, the commissioners explained that the mail had been causing disturbance throughout the day in relation to the freedom mandate protest. Commissioner witness redacted provided detailed security report to police, end quote. This is evidence I require and specifically listed in my second request of full particulars dated December 16th, 2022. Sergeant Failure recently obtained the commissioner's detailed security report but refused to give me a copy as is required for my full disclosure for the upcoming provincial court date September 20th, 2023. My notice of application with accompanied affidavit is available for you. Boom. That's it guys. Ernie Racing News. And here we go. You can see of all the quotes and everything for the videos. And um, here it is. We're done. Re submit request. Sure. Done. Thank you for contacting the commissioner. Your reference number is here it is. Boom. Okay, guys. That's it. Now I'm ready to get outside and go one wheel around and enjoy my birthday. I am now 39 years old, celebrating my 39th day. Of course, remember to celebrate every day. Don't just celebrate your birthday every day, guys. Ernie Racing News. Thanks for paying attention, and I'll keep you guys updated as I can. Cheers.